A chilling discovery has been made in eastern Ukraine, where self-defense forces have found an unmarked grave containing the bodies of four civilians. Reporting from the site is Arti's Roman Kosarev. This mass burial site was uh, first discovered on Tuesday by the self-defense forces as uh, they were looking for mines in this particular area. They've exhumed four bodies, including uh, those of three women. The militia of the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic says that the Ukrainian forces were in control of this territory and they abandoned it just uh, a few days ago. Now, they fear there may be more such burial sites in the area and uh, they will be examined as well. This place has just been liberated. We've found four of them so far. Who knows how many more are here? The first indications show that these are civilians. They were found with their hands tied. Their heads were severed from the bodies. It's horrifying. If you come closer, you'll see that they were shot point blank in the head. It means they were executed. OSC monitors have already visited and uh, inspected this particular burial site and uh, prosecutors in Donetsk People's Republic have uh, started an investigation. Russia is calling for an international inquiry as well, citing the fact that Ukraine's National Guard forces were stationed at this location a couple of days ago. Meanwhile, the local residents have already confirmed the presence of uh, Ukrainian forces. We had a Ukrainian tank standing in the backyard. Soldiers were also here, about 40 of them. Some were coming, others were going. According to official figures, 3,500 Ukrainian soldiers died in the so-called anti-terrorist operation in the southeast of the country. The UN claims those figures are much higher. Four morgues in the neighboring regions uh, controlled by Kiev hold over a thousand bodies. However, half of them cannot be identified. Another factor that uh, might add to the casualties list is that many Ukrainian soldiers have been declared as MIA or missing in action. And volunteers from various groups are now also working on determining the exact number of the dead and the missing. Artis Roman Kosarev. Now, for more analysis on the situation in eastern Ukraine, just head over to our website. Lots of it there, rt.com.